we want to go ahead and bring in KSHB 41 News reporter Abby Dodge. Um, Abby, if you wouldn't mind sharing kind of where you are at right now and, and kind of what the conditions look like where you are. Yeah, hey, we are in uh, Raytown, Ray and Taylor, near 67th and Lane about. It's a small neighborhood over here, and as you can tell behind me, they've got some serious issues. This is a huge tree down off of 67th and Lane here in Raytown. I was just speaking with the Childress family, and they said that they are without power. About half the street has power, and they said some of their neighbors still do have power but this I think is the culprit right here. They actually told me they are headed out to get a generator. It is so cold in their house right now. They're leaving it to go hopefully find some relief uh, with a generator. But I had another family who drove by, saw this huge tree and told me, oh, that just about a block or two down the street, the same thing has happened to even more families in this Raytown neighborhood. They have two trees down, one in the backyard, one in the front yard. And luckily they did report to me that there are some Evergy crews over there already taking care of that, meaning that they're in the neighborhood and hopefully able to take care of this tree and the Childress family very soon. I did speak with Evergy on the phone earlier today, and they told me that the factors for all of these outages that we're seeing, it's about 45,000 people in the KC metro area, not quite up to that 45,000 number, just under. Um, they're saying that those factors aren't necessarily because of this very heavy snow that I'm being pelted with in the face right now. Uh, it's actually the wind, uh, those heavy gusts uh, that is causing a lot of those problems for them today. We're hoping to speak with Evergy in person or on the phone later today. We're hoping to uh, link up sometime and they said that they'll be able to give us even more information at that time. For now, live in Raytown, Abby Dodge, KSHB 41 News. Thank you so much, Abby. We've been talking about that picture all day. So to yeah. see a live look at that is pretty powerful.